SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. My name is Elizabeth Goldschmidt. I'm a graduate student at the University of Maryland at the Joint Quantum Institute in Physics. Um, I'm here at NIST working in a research group where I've been doing my PhD research for a few years now. Uh, our experiment here is a, we're trying to develop a solid state quantum memory and also single photon gun. Um, so I'll describe a little bit for you what we're doing. You can see our uh, ring cavity dye laser, which we have there with the cover off open. Uh, so that is what generates our laser light at 606 nanometers. Um, the reason we need 606 nanometers is because the sample that we're using for our experiment is an ensemble of praseodymium atoms, um, and that's where praseodymium's resonance is at. So you can see the laser, it comes out, all the optics is just to generate a variety of fields that we use uh, to run the experiment. Um, you can see all the, the beam paths and the acousto-optic modulators, which are used to shift the frequency of the field and generate multiple fields that we send into our cryostat. So here is the cryostat that we use to keep our sample, our uh, rare earth ion doped crystal, at 4 Kelvin. It's got an optical axis down here where the crystal is. And so all these beams all get combined, sent into these fibers, which you can see lit up here, um, down the table to the experiment, uh, where they enter into the cryostat. The experiment that we're trying to run is we have a crystal which has an ensemble of praseodymium ions doped into it. Um, and we want to use that ensemble in order to generate single photons and also, hopefully, in the end, to be able to entangle a couple of these crystals, which are separated at some distance um, in the, the so-called DLCZ scheme for entanglement generation. Uh, one of the big challenges of our experiment, and the reason for most of the optics on the table, is that this material is a spectral hole burning material, has a very, very large inhomogeneous broadening of the transition, because each praseodymium ion in the crystal is sitting at a different place in the crystal lattice, and so we'll actually have its resonance at a slightly, resonance at a slightly different place. Um, and so our state preparation scheme requires doing what's called spectral hole burning, um, and our scheme requires several fields entering the, the cryostat at different times and uh, different pulses in order to do our state preparation. That's what actually most of the optics is for. Both single photon sources and quantum memories have a lot of very exciting applications in the fields of quantum communication, quantum information, quantum computing. Um, the big benefit of our scheme over schemes which have already been demonstrated in the past is that rare earth ion doped crystals such as ours have the potential for extremely long storage times for memory and also for generating single photons. Um, you get a very long memory time, 30 seconds has been demonstrated. And so uh, this is very exciting because to date, most schemes in other systems have memory times that are more like a millisecond at best. Um, and so that is why we're very excited about, about this material and think it has a lot of potential applications.